quit that and people just all right what's up so today we are back with another episode of the road to top 100 legends only we found ourselves in the heavyweight and light heavyweight division again which uh, isn't too bad you could say considering i mean it has the the widest variety and uh, it has the most amount of legends at least and a lot of them have different styles and stuff like that let me see who i could use are you you know, I used Little Nog, I think, in the last one. So, uh, I think I might use Big Nog now. Yeah, sure. I'll go Big Nog. Um, It's not too bad, though, you know. It's interesting. I'm only division, I think it's 9 or 10. And the, series, the season is getting away from me a little bit, so I think I'll start have to recording these in bulk. Just because I wouldn't want the series to go on for too long or me to actually fail at all. Oh, King Laranox. I know this player. He is actually quite a decent player. It's going to be tough to beat him considering, you know, Big Nog's takedowns aren't the best. And uh, I'm not the best with the submissions. I'm a lot better with just con con blah, 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 control and ground and pound. But we'll see what we can do. Big Nog seems to have some hands on him, to be honest. He feels nice and flowy, his animations feel good. Obviously, that's not ideal. I'm not gonna prevent that from happening. Oh. Oh my god! Oh my. That was literally exactly like the, the Derek Lewis versus Kuros Blades. He shot down for a double and caught the uppercut to the mush. Alright. Well, that's not ideal. It was all going well. I mean, obviously I'd got rocked beforehand, but, you know, I was able to pull back on his and I was gone. Oh, I knew he was sensing the, the uppercut again, but... So I tried to throw my own uppercut first and we kind of sponged each other's damage. Man, yeah, I need to kind of take this Derek down, but it's... I don't know, he's throwing a lot of them big uppercuts. Bleeding, do I, I risk taking him down. Oh shit. Didn't mean to let him out of the clinch. Back up, mate. You don't want none of this. Oh, we're able to secure the single. I wasn't sure if he had any turns and ankle pick, but. I'm fuming that I've just let that happen. Even with the double leg, double bailed being nerfed, they're still kind of easy enough to get. You just have to wait for somebody to throw a couple of strikes. I didn't do the backpack though, and I think that's only the super cheesy thing. Into the kind of like the double leg bail into the back take, because it's in a 50 50 now. Or it's always been a 50 50, should I say. Oopsie. Oh, this is good. Yes! I had sensed an uppercut, and even though that wasn't it, because, like, you know, he seemed to be really trying to prevent the takedowns. Um, so it kind of went with my own uppercut, because so I felt like he's hard rocked this time, so my uppercut would kind of whiz past his and be able to do more damage and get the knockdown. He may have went for the, I think he went for the wrong input, because let's be honest, nobody's going for a slow ass rear body hook with Derek Lewis with nothing to set it up. Wild rocked, I mean, unfortunate for him, but it was kind of like a little mistake he made and he had to pay for it, so. Good start to the episode, uh, whiz past, oh, nearly into Division 10 already, alright, I, uh. You know, let's not, like I usually say, let's not waste any more time. We'll get into the next one. Oh. Eve of Destruction. Interesting. He's Division 14. So, we are actually going to be kind of getting up to his weight, uh, these divisions quite quickly. If we can take him out here, it'd be huge for our progression. Oh. 
You know, I do, I'm happy that he kind of picked a fellow legend than Chuck. I'm pretty sure Chuck and T.O. or Chuck and Vitor fought quite early into the UFC. I didn't even realize it until the other day. Oh, that was a beautiful little combo. Maybe I need to be more careful. Yeah, he kind of moves back there to avoid the pull uppercut damage. Boom. That's what I was looking for. I can lie, it actually wasn't, but it done the job. It was supposed to be a spinning heel kick. Oh, I can sense the finish is coming. When I say that, like, it's hard to sense the finish is coming. Man, I think I'm just trying the wrong kick completely. Just realized I was doing the wrong input. I was doing the UFC 3 input for the spinning heel kick. I was like, why isn't this working? But, oh, uh, yeah, that's the destruction. Speaking of destructions, oh, well, maybe we can walk on the ground here. We'll keep it going. A bit of damage never worked. Well, not for me, it didn't, anyways. Here we go. Have him panicking. Have him panicking. I'm just gonna keep him here for a little bit longer. I do want to stand up, but I just want to ruin that stamina and get that head held even further down. So maybe I can even try and get a flashy little spin and heel kick on the feet. Right, I'm gonna land like I'm gonna bring him with the knee on belly with the damage, and then I'm gonna stand up. Ah, oh, no, he's gonna keep stamina. Alright. Ah, there we go. I knew he had such low head health now. I'm gonna... I'm gonna catch him with a beauty. I'm either gonna die in the process, or, uh... I'm gonna get a night out KO. Oh, what the fu- What did I- What did I even throw? Well, that was unexpected. I mean, I'm... I actually... I'm puzzled as to what I tripped. It was a straight or an uppercut or a punch in the clinch. What the fuck? As a weirdo. Jesus. I pulled back and he clinched me. He just got uppercutted anyways. That was so weird. That's funny as but I'll take it, I'll take it. Alright, so that'll be that for you, you know. Ten to the little next one here should be division 10 holy division 10 yeah yeah just above halfway not too shabby not too shabby all right we'll move on and get some more uh, fights in no oh, tcae kiss oh boys we are in for a rough one here against the massive cheeser one of the biggest in the community i mean he's literally in a camp called the cheese amigos what more do you need to know Twenty-three rounds, so we can walk with this. It seems to be cracking me. I think I'm going with slip straight a little bit too often. Nice. I'm cracking him. Oh, nice. So that actually, all he does is pull back. I should just be ripping that fucking body of his. Yeah, there we go.
Oh my god! Oh my god, he has just been absolutely ruined. Oh, you can hold that, Yukis. You can hold that. Oh, he just got that ass beat. Oh man, I really wish I got to fuck. Oh, I wish I got to see that KO how it get replayed. I can't wait to watch this one back. What a beauty. What a beauty. Came in here with the fucking thought process, you know. I'll probably strike with him for a little bit, see how he is. If he starts beating him, I'm just gonna take him down. RNC, standing guillotine. Which is his usual style, hence why he picked Yakare Souza. And he caught those hands. Oh, good shit, though. Alright, I'll be back in the next one. I'm happy with that. He was Div 19 as well. Good stuff. Alright, here we are. Le da 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 da. Yeah. Alright, I'm using Anderson Silva. Because, you know, he's a legend. He's a legend in everyone's eyes, regardless of whether, you know, he has got the, the kit or the little badge yet. Poor Yee Kiss, he's fuming in the Discord currently. He's got the head absolutely. <laughs> oh, he's got the knee. -y. Fucking to the dome. That was brutal. Gonna have to try and play clean though, because oh well. All right. Gonna use Anderson's kind of movement, his peeps, his knees, his longer strikes. Beautiful stuff here. I mean, we've barely been hit other than those like two spinning kicks to the head. Oh yeah, I saw it stepped into that side since the spinning kick was coming. Trip him on his arse. Get that beautiful little five star front kick in there. Even just getting thinking about it. Oh, he got that. Oh, that was horrendous. Whoa, I got it. Right. I'm not going to sit here and complain about that. I'm gonna start stoiling on him. Hey, hey. Right on the. Yeah, this man can't grapple. Going for everything now. Straight get ups. Let's see how. No. Come on, go for a transition. I wanna stand you back up. Then take your head off. Oh, I'm really enjoying this fight. Anderson Silva is quite fun to use. Especially because he, you know, obviously you're going to have a really tough time against the likes of super good Yan players. Uh, but he has a really nice little speed advantage versus a lot of his heavyweights. Or light heavyweights, should I be saying. In middleweight, he's a little bit tougher to use, in my opinion, anyways, because they're all faster than him. It seems well, Robert Whitaker with the hands and stuff as well. Oh my god, I'm really shooting for the legs now. I right, tried to get that takedown for the stamina. Keep him back. Boom. Oh, I'm really trying to catch him with that. 
quite. Oh, brutal. Come on, what a way to episode, end the episode it would be. And we got it. Beautiful stuff and another rage quit. Damn, people just don't want to be waiting for the screen today. Alright, I think uh, we'll have to end the episode off there. Not too shabby, we'll see what weight we are in. Or what division we're in. We should be around division 12 to 13, surely. Well, it's soon 12. Yeah, big win, big wins. Alright, there we go. We're now into division 12, not too bad. Um, if you've liked the episode, a like would be appreciated. And if you haven't already subscribed, it'd be much recommended that you do so. I'm going to be posting more days very soon, along with other stuff. We just need uh, the thumbnails and stuff for them, but good stuff coming. So, uh, appreciate everyone for watching once again, and peace.